Wake up, children. It's time for the fanciful, far-fetched, futuristic fables of Space Goose. Accompanying the fantastic fowl on his adventures are Joe Rabbit, Sally Brosity, and First Mate Ugly. With the help of this motley crew, Space Goose battles the evil Dr. Donkey, whose hobbies include taking over the universe and ping pong. Who will be the victor in this battle of the cosmos? You won't know until you watch it, so keep your eyes on the screen and your enemy is closer. You're watching Space Goose! Evil business is Dr. Donkey up to today? Is he executing a scheme to take over the universe? Or perhaps a plot to get rid of Space Goose? I'm just picking up some groceries! Excuse me, I'd like to get through! Come on, I need to buy my carrots! I get out of the way! Stupid kids, when I'm in charge, standing on the sidewalk will be illegal! Well, the prize is 9,999 space bucks. That's a lot of space bucks. Move over, Shorty. Why don't you... 9,999 space bucks? That is a lot of space bucks. Hey, kid, what is all this? It's the Triennial Extreme Galactic Space Race 7,000 sponsored by Flabco, of course. Hmm, if I won, that money could go towards funding my evil schemes. Hmm, looks like Dr. Donkey's cooking something up. The fiend. <laughs> you might say that he is your own worst enemy. I could, but it wouldn't make any sense. It's settled then. I'm gonna race in the triannual Extreme Galactic Space Race 7000. Then so shall I. That fiend can't be allowed to win. If he gets the prize money, who knows what he might do with it. He could give it to charity. I somehow doubt that. Well, here's my old space podium. <clears throat> I haven't used this thing since I was a gosling. Now let's put in some cool gadgets! For shame, Sally! If I'm going to beat Dr. Donkey, I've got to do it fair and square! But he's going to cheat, and you're only in the race to make sure he doesn't win, so shouldn't you cheat too? Never! Cheating at a children's racing event is just like mass murder! It's not good! But you- No but, Sally! I have to set an example for all the kids who idolize me. I don't think any kids- Think of the children! Meanwhile, the malevolent mule is indeed planning to cheat. Tell us about your strategy, Dr. Donkey. Well, you see, I've stolen this motor. It's a supercharged turbo power hydro titanium dye alloy fructose glucose shibbity babadoo and I'm gonna put it in my podium. Is it fast? What? Well, of course it's fast. Why else would I put it in? You, you stupid idiot. What kind of a question is that? <laughs> is it fast? Listen, bud, it's got radioactive blood. Yeah. All right, all right. That's enough. Thank you. Is it fast? And so we come to the big day of the triannual Extreme Galactic Space Race 7000, sponsored by Flabco. It looks like a great turnout, quite an improvement over the last event's attendance of three. Hey, look, there's Space Goose. Ain't no rule says a goose can't be in the race. Ah, okay, get on your podium, Goose. Hey, that's Space Goose to you, pal. Here's your helmet, Space Goose. But I already have a helmet. I always wear this one. Well, this one's pink. <laughs> you look so pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, start your podiums. Oh, we're starting. Sally, get out of here. <laughs> You're going down, Space Goose. That prize money's mine. We'll see about that, fiend. On your marks. Get set. Go. What the? No, I, I think I put the motor in backwards! Huh. Well, I guess I don't have to race then, right? Uh, I guess not. Hi, kids. In today's episode, when Sally and I were getting my space podium out of my closet, I made a big mistake. 
I tried to lift it all by myself, and it was really heavy. It slipped out of my hands and landed on my foot. Luckily, I was okay, but I could have been not okay. So remember, if you have to lift something heavy like a washing machine or a fridge or a corpse, don't try to do it alone. Ask somebody to help you. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. How am I gonna pay the rent now? If only I checked which end of that stupid motor was the front. Oh, the stupid. <laughs> oh, it's no good at all. No good at all.